chin down slightly. Yeah. Stop laughing. <laughs> no, you told me to stop. I can't stop. Okay. How did you get into photography? Right. So basically, when I was about 15, we went into NCS. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, and I got into Team Sabson because I think on the thing I take that I like cameras. Um, that was a lie. <laughs> I just thought it was the coolest thing. So um, I started doing photography there and I found out that I really enjoyed it. As part of NCS, we do like charity work. So we work with an old people's home. I think we called our campaign like, have a cup of tea. And it was really cute because basically we handed out tea bags and we told people to take pictures of themselves with their neighbours and old people. Mm. And it brought them together. Is that when you were like, actually, I really like photography and I want to like no. pursue it? It was just a hobby. I was really weird. I just wanted to take pictures of really silly things, like taking pictures of water. Moving water was really fun for me. Getting patterns and textures. I only really started getting into people when I went on my year abroad to Switzerland. I started taking portraits. Realised that I wasn't half bad. You've built like a really great community for yourself mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? So I think it was just as I moved to Switzerland. Yeah. Maybe like in my middle of my first year. And I don't know, I started posting my work Keep and talking. I started following photographers. And then one guy, he messaged me and said, do you want to be in a group chat? Shout out to James. He added me to this group chat. It was called Rose Chat. You'd send your photos in and they'd read you for filth, like quite mean critique, but in a way that's quite, was quite helpful. And it would kind of knock you off your feet a little bit, but also it would make you think about your composition and your lighting and how you can make it look less bland. What would you say has been something that has progressed your career? Definitely UK BF Talk. Again, mm -hmm. shout out to the girls. <laughs> um, they like, not only like boosted my confidence, but also like kickstarted my career properly, yeah. basically. Getting a thousand likes is great on Twitter, but getting a thousand pounds is even better. <laughs> <laughs> so I submitted some work. I got into the exhibition and they took us on a tour. A bunch of people came, we got into magazines, I got into The Guardian. They gave us such a op big opportunity. What do you plan <laughs> to use your grant for? Right, so I plan to use it on lenses. And there's this project that I'm doing at the moment, it's a mental health project, um, and I need to take some portraits. They're like quite documentary style portraits. What's been your favorite project that you've worked on for yourself so far? Mm -hmm. So The Invisible Girl basically is a self-portrait series it's dealing with feelings of invisibility and isolation. And then labels was about mental health, specifically black mental health. It's a taboo subject in our community. No one wants to talk about it. And how are we meant to tackle it if no one is opening their mouth to speak? What's that journey like going from concept to produced image? It's quite chaotic. Cause again, like my brain is constantly on creator mode. So I'm thinking about 20 different things at once. And so what will happen is, at like 4 a.m. I will just get an idea and it does have to, have to happen in that space. If I lose focus for a moment, I'm not doing it again. Um, I just have a very short attention span. <laughs>